this is just a prototype obviously for the case to design I've taken the phenolic tube with the resistors and I placed that inside of a cardboard tube you can see the tubes been wrapped with aluminum foil I have a compensation network stuffed in behind here this is a 50 ohm terminator here this is just going to our RF generator so we can see here the generator is set at 10 volts peak to peak and this is looking at the LaCroix it's set at 5 millivolts per division or 10 millivolts peak to peak again it is a thousand one probe so currently this is at one hertz you can see it's quite free of noise really for if I uh, remove the foil here or was to uh, detach the ground here to this you'd see that the uh, the noise of this would go up quite a bit this is the same scale, 5 millivolts per division without the shield connected. So again, this is at 1 hertz. This is at 10 hertz. This is 100 hertz. There's a thousand hertz. Ten kilohertz. Here I have the output attached to my RF generator. You can see here we're still at 5 millivolts per division. Unfortunately the generator here can only put out about 3 volts max. But 5 millivolts per division, that's the lowest value at the scope of the display. This is uh, 447 kilohertz again. Here we are at 890 kilohertz. It's 1.79 megahertz. I'll just adjust this up to two. Here we are at four. There's, there's eight megahertz. There's 16. Okay, this distortion is actually caused by the generator. Uh, as we run real high voltages coming out of this thing, this generator will actually distort. You can see it gives a uh, reduced peak power. So as I adjust this thing down, see the light will go off here get a decent waveform out of this thing again. This is 50 megahertz here. And unfortunately, you know, having all this cabling here, I grab hold of this, you can see it distorting the waveform. I may just take and cover this again with another insulating tube. We'll just have to see. But at least for the geometries, I think this looks pretty good.